Well, hello. Blessed morning, 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 blessed morning. For this is the day that the Lord He has made. I I shall rejoice and I shall be glad in it. Giving honor to God today for God is truly awesome and amazing. What a wonderful and marvelous God that we serve. Oh, give praises unto God for he is good and he's worthy to be praised. Today we are fasting for four hours. Four hours. Not four, like bro man. Um, and we are reading Isaiah 58 and 6. Is this not the fast that I have chosen to loose the bands of wickedness, to undo heavy burdens, to let the oppressed go free, and to break every yoke. Um, you know, it's interesting because we've been doing all these fasting uh, for full days. Uh, it slipped my mind almost that uh, I'm fasting uh, up until 10 o'clock. Uh, so I just thank the Lord this morning for bringing that back to my attention. I'm uh, very interested in understanding that. I just love the Lord. Um, I, I met a young lady in the store the other day and I talked about how I pulled up at Sam's and you know this young lady was cussing me out from head to toe and I didn't even say anything I didn't honk my horn I was like oh lord you have delivered me but the thing is that everything is timing every situation that happens in our lives is timing and if we do not allow ourselves to operate in the timing of God, um, we will miss either being a blessing or we will miss receiving a blessing. Well, because of the hesitation in this person moving, um, it allowed me to be prompted in the store where I could bless two people. And one of the ladies I was walking and I went to go grab some coffee and she had tea. And um, I was like, oh, Lord, I got excited because the Folgers was on sale <laughs> in Sam's for like $8, the big thing. I was like, oh, Jesus. And she was like, oh, you want some tea? And I was like, no, baby, I can't have that today. Um, you know, I'm fasting. So she started to share with me about her mother and how... Um, how her mother explained to her what fasting is and we god bless her soul she said her mother had passed away you know and she said i really don't necessarily understand but i understand what my mom was trying to tell me and she was explaining to me the best way she knew how well i explained to her what fasting is and i gave her the scripture isaiah 58 and 6 you know is this the fast that i've chosen to loose the bands of wickedness to undo heavy burdens to let the oppressed go free and to break every yoke. While I explained to her, there are things that are attached to us that keep us in bondage. The Bible says that these things only come by fasting and praying. So in order for bondage and things that are attached to us, last night we talked about cycles, you know, those things as well, to be broken, we have to, we have to fast and we have to pray. I said, and what happens is that we begin to walk in freedom from all the bondage and the baggage that we carry. So this morning, I want to encourage you to fast and to pray. Uh, she then said to me, oh, okay. So I gave her, I had a card and I need to get um, updated business cards. If you do that, please reach out to me. Um, also, if you do logos, I need someone to reach out to me as well. Um, but, you know, just that conversation in the midst, it was a beautiful conversation and it was wonderful. And uh, this was Saturday. And when I walked away, I, you know, I gave her a card of the prayer times. And, you know, I was like, it was a pleasure meeting you. And she said, nice meeting you too. Have a good day. And I told her, have a blessed day. And I walked away. Well, then I walked up to get my son something. And it was a lady there. And on the morning, and not the morning encouragement, but the family meeting on Saturday morning, I discussed about how we need to be blessings to people, right? Sometimes we have pocket change in the door. And we'll see somebody standing outside. And they're asking for money. You know, anything will help. But we'll say, or based upon how they look, what they're going to use the money for. If the person's homeless, I don't care if they're smoking a cigarette, got a bottle in their hand. You don't know what, that could be a test for you. 
God says he blesses so that we can bless. I'm not saying give your whole paycheck or, you know, go broke. But what I am saying is, if you got something extra, it's spare change. Give. God says he loves a cheerful giver. Help somebody and pray that what you bless them with, that they use it in the right way. I desire for your spirit to be increased, for you to grow, for you to be shifted, for you to walk in abundance. In abundance, I'm sorry, not abundance. Um, I'm making up words. In order to do these things and to walk in freedom, you first have to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. But most importantly, you got to fast and pray. Some of y'all will not stop eating to save y'all lives. You will not turn away your, your soda, your Pepsi, your whatever. You got to learn how to sacrifice. You know, I was reading, I was studying this morning in the book of Samuel. And I gave a message last night called Cycles. And I, uh, if you want to see the video, you can go to my page, uh, Yvette Hall. Or you can go to Family Meeting Ministries on Facebook. You can also go to our YouTube channel, Family Meeting Ministries. Please subscribe. Uh, you can also visit our website for the videos. And that's uh, www.familymeetingministries.org. But what we have to understand is that the things that we have encountered in our lives keep us sometimes in a dark place. And you seem like no matter what you do, no matter how much you try, you cannot seem to be shifted out of a dark place. Well, when you allow Jesus to come into your life, that's the first step. But you have to read your word because the word is what fills you up. It grows you. But when you begin to fast and pray, it helps you to be strengthened. It breaks bondages, generational curses, some of the things that you experience doesn't even have anything to do with you. It's about things and cycles that have been a part of your family's generation uh, for a long time coming. Let's uh, look at, um, you know, for a very long time, I'm sorry. Let's look at when you go to the doctor, right? I know y'all see me with my little screw ups on. I've been working in the in the healthcare field for about 20 years now, almost 20 years. And um, I went to school, I graduated, and straight out of college, I, I I went to work in the medical field. Now, when you go to the doctor, the doctor asks you a series of questions. Does anyone in your family have this? Does anyone in your family have that? And you got this whole checklist of if somebody in your family got hypertension or diabetes or cardiac heart failure, all these different things. What they're trying to do is understand how to identify what's going on with you. Because sometimes when you come, the symptoms that you have, they cannot identify without knowing your history, right? So when you come before God, God already knows your history. And he's looking to strip you away of your history. To move you away from things that are a part of your past. And it doesn't necessarily mean your actual past it could be someone in your family's past but because their blood runs through you it's your past as well well when you give the doctor your history you know they have what they call diagnoses the doctor diagnoses you with something and there's a difference between a current diagnosis and a historical diagnosis right so even uh insurance companies and you know the the systems that are set up, they 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 have ways to distinguish if you're still dealing with that or if it's a part of your past. Well, that's the same thing with your spiritual life. When you fast, it's to release you from the things that should be a part of your history. It should be a part of your spiritual health as a history diagnosis. And you should be freed so then you're walking in a current spiritual diagnosis. See, we got to understand that the Lord desires to push us through. The Lord desires to bring us out, but we sometimes hold on to things that are not good for our spiritual health. Bad relationships, um, anger, bitterness, um, fear, you know, all these things that are not of the Lord. And it's only a tactic to keep you in bondage. But when you learn how to fast and pray, you know, for someone who says, oh, I can't go a whole day without eating and 
you know, I, I got medication I have to take or, you know, I have health complications. Well, you could fast for four hours. Four hours is not going to hurt you. You got to sacrifice. Greatest testimony we have for our corporate fast in November. Someone was diagnosed with something and it became a part of their history, right? And then uh, they were able to get off of a medication that they had been on for a while. You got to understand that the things that we desire, the strength that we need from the Lord, the Bible says these things only come by fasting and praying. So we have to understand that the Lord desires to elevate us. But do you desire to be elevated? Change this. So as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. What's in your heart? Are you willing to turn down your plate? Are you willing to get off of social media for, for four hours and sacrifice to the Lord? So that he can increase you. Do you really want to be loosed from wickedness? Do you really desire the Lord to undo heavy burdens? Are you ready to let oppression out of your life go free? I encourage you this morning to fast and to pray. You know, um, I have done the morning encouragement for almost four years now. And I thank the Lord for giving me something to speak on every day. And this nothing, this stuff does not come from me. Half the time when I come out here, I don't know what I'm going to say. But what I do understand is that there's different times. And right now the Lord has me in a very strong teach mode. And I, I, I really desire for your heart, your spirit to grow. Because when your spirit grows, your mind begins to change. When your mind begins to change, your natural walk begins to change and it begins to grow. God bless you, uh, fam. Um, and we have to understand that this journey is not easy, but God will never bring you to a place where he's going to leave you. Do you trust and believe that God can bring you out? Do you believe in the power of our Jehovah? Jehovah Jireh is his name. He's our provider. Jehovah Nisi, the Lord, our banner. Jehovah Shalom, he is the God of peace. And Jehovah, he is what he is. He's God. Understand that the fasting helps to mold you and to push you more and more into freedom. And I don't know about you, but I desire to walk in complete, total freedom. Humility, humbleness joy that no matter what happens or no matter what somebody says to me i just let it go last night on mnl night we talked about cycles i read from first samuel 10 verse 27 about how when saul got elected to be king uh you know some men came up and who are you who put you in this position I can relate to Saul. I've been asked the very same question. But what you have to realize and understand is that when God has a calling on your life, no matter how much you fight, to whom much is given, much is required. The Lord will position you where he wants you. But this morning, I encourage you to fast and to pray so that you can be strengthened in your spirit. You know, there's something that we have an issue dealing with and that's criticism. We don't like for anybody to tell us anything wrong that we've done. That's an area in my life that I've really had to ask the Lord to help me in. Lord, allow me to be able to accept both positive and negative criticism. Because the thing is that when you understand that Romans 8.28 tells us that all things work together for the greater good for those of us who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose, what the devil meant for your bad, God meant for your good. So that means if you allow yourself to utilize even the things that are presenting 
opposition as a way to push you to your purpose. You always walk with a victorious mindset. Romans 12 to be ye transformed with the renewing of your mind. Before the Lord had me talking on emotional, um, not emotional, emotional inconsistency. That's, that's not the word. Jesus. Emotional, you guys know what we've been talking about. I can't even think of the term right now. Um, but where our emotions, we, we act out of our emotions and we're not allowing ourselves to think logistically. Well, now the Lord has me speaking on the mind, how important it is for your mind to be transformed. So I encourage you to fast and to pray, to study your word and to praise God every opportunity that you have. You could be sitting at your desk at work in your cubicle and wherever you at in your car and just give God praise. Thank the Lord for what he's done. God didn't have to bring you this far, but he did. Learn how to give God your time. Wake up in the morning thanking God for another day. For this is the day that the Lord has made. I shall rejoice and be glad in it. So we have to know that God desires for us to fast and to pray. And I encourage you to do so. Please share the live. Please share the live um, so that others are encouraged, that they understand what God desires for us. Um, you know, I want to share real quickly about the morning encouragement. And some people say, oh, she's been doing this for four years. Why am I just now seeing her? Um, or, you know, I've been on my page almost a year doing it. Prior to that, I was in the group. So Family Meeting Ministries, we have a group on Facebook, not just a page, but we also have a group. Um, and for years, I just was doing the morning encouragement in the group. So whoever was in the group got an opportunity to see me. And I heard the Holy Spirit say, you need to come out of your comfort zone. You need to think outside of the box. Why are you just only giving morning encouragement in a group when you could be giving it to everybody who needs to have access to you? So 2019, I started doing it from my page. And the people that I've encountered, the people that God has drawn to me is amazing. And I thank God for that. And then I mentioned something to um, a pastor friend of mine last night. God bless her and her ministry. Um, and we were talking about something. And she was like, you know, think outside the box. And she mentioned something that I had thought about doing, but didn't really the way she was saying it and how I was thinking and how I wanted to do. So I said, God, you just opened my insight and I thank you for that. The Lord will use anybody to give you ways to push what he has for you to do. You just have to be willing to accept those things. Walk in peace today and know that God has greatness in store for you. Learn how to speak the power of I am. I am strong. I am successful. I will live a prosperous life. Change your mind. Speak greatness out of your mouth. There is power in the tongue. And there is power in the name of Jesus. So allow the Lord to bless you. Conform yourself. Commit yourself to what God has for you. Nothing that God has his hands on is failure. So do not allow the enemy to make you feel that you're a failure and that you don't matter and that you don't mean anything. You got to know that him, who's him, Jesus, H-I-M-M, -M, that he's molding me. And we do what? We pray, P-R-A-Y. Uh, we prioritize righteousness around you. We're hashtagging addicted to Jesus. We bought that Jesus life. We stay ready. We chucking up the deuces to Satan because he got to go because we serve him, Jesus. Satan got to pack his bags and get gone. Satan, we are not scared. We chucking up the deuces to him. Pack your bags and get gone. I am bad. I am B-A-D. I am blessed and delivered. We are rocking with the best J-E-S-U-S. -S. They play checkers. We play chess. We're strategic in how we serve the Lord. Tighten up. We live a life of prosperity. We're hashtagging. We are restored. 
pump your brakes. We talked about yesterday that on the morning encouragement. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, go look at the morning encouragement for yesterday so you'll be able to figure out. Use me, Lord, for your glory. And you all know, I get so excited when I say this and it just does something wonderful to me. We kingdom, baby. <laughs> yes, Lord. We kingdom, baby. Listen. I know y'all like that subtle voice and I be all calm and stuff. God is just giving me peace and peace. I tell you, it's just a uh, it's a calmness in my spirit. And trust me, I get challenged every day to come out of peace, to come out of being humble. And one thing about me, I always smile and try to be comforting to people's spirit, but I have a very strong demeanor and it intimidates people. I, I can't do anything about that. That's who God created me to be. So I try to be mindful uh, because people sometimes will take you in the wrong way. And, and perception goes a long way. So I pray that the Lord blesses you today and that you walk in the peace and the abundance of the Most High God. Trust in the Lord and do good and know that ye shall always be fed and that ye shall dwell in the land forever. Know that all things, that they work for the greater good for those of us who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and God's righteousness and in all things acknowledge God in all of your ways and he will direct your path be sober-minded and vigilant in your spirit because that enemy of yours the devil he roams around like a fierce lion seeking for someone to devour stay encouraged and remember to encourage someone today please share the live on your page share the live and encourage someone to know by fasting and praying it looses the bands of wickedness it undoes heavy burdens it lets the oppressed go free and it breaks jokes. God bless you. Have a blessed day. And keep smiling. And know that you matter, that you're important, and that you mean something. God bless you.